Okay. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas. Um, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, yeah, Indiana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So some of us are better at memorizing lists than others. Like me. <laughs> like you. Um, did you know, though, that this was one of the primary ways that students, particularly during the old Babylonian period, uh, the first half of the second millennium BCE, uh, learned their scribal education? Students would go and memorize long lists, um, write out letters uh, and long literary texts, both in Sumerian and Akkadian, in order to learn the scribal craft. So, we're going to talk a little bit today. Uh, about some of the evidence that we have that shows uh, us what scribal life was like and um, how we've come to the conclusions uh, that we have about how students learned how to read and write. So first we have things uh, like literary texts that tell us, uh, give us sort of a picture of what daily life was like for a student. One probably of the most famous uh, literary text that we have is called School Days, and it was, uh, it was an older translation uh, that's been, uh, a new translation's been put together actually rather recently. Um, maybe I'll put it in the feed, uh, but uh, send me an email and I can get that, I can get that to you. Uh, but School Days is, is essentially a story about a, a boy that uh, goes to school and um, what happens to him throughout the day a lot of bad stuff, but ultimately ends up um, coming out good for him. But it, I mean, everything from packing his lunch, getting a good night's sleep before he goes uh, to school, going and doing his reading and writing exercises, being beaten for doing things uh, incorrectly, and, and culminating ultimately in um, in a visit home from his teacher. Um, sorry, my five-year-old just woke up. So. Uh, but, but literary texts are not the only thing that we have uh, that tell us what scribal life was like, and, and in reality, probably not the best evidence that we have. Uh, the best evidence, I think, that we have comes from the tablets, and not so much what was on the tablets that tell us about scribal life, um, but finding tablets in schools. Now, schools during the Old Babylonian period weren't like what we have today. Uh, we probably had something like that. They probably had something like that several hundred years earlier, but we, we can't know that for sure. But during the old Babylonian period, we have home, uh, you know, like homeschooling. And uh, there's a particular house that we have uh, from the city of Nippur, uh, mid 18th century, called House F. And in House F, we have thousands and thousands of tablets, both elementary exercises and more advanced exercises that show us what the students copied, and we determined uh, what order they copied them in. So elementary exercises like sign and syllable lists, uh, personal name lists, vocabulary lists, mathematical texts, mock letters, legal letters, or legal texts, and a whole host of literary compositions that were copied and memorized first in part uh, and then and then copied out as a whole. But these lists were memorized by the students and copied out, and it taught them how to write the, the correct syllables, how to read and write Sumerian and Akkadian texts, and uh, ultimately how to, from, from memory, uh, put these texts together on the clay tablets. Now, from the different tablet types, the tablet shapes that we see, we've been able to piece together not only what they copied, but the order that they copied them in, and so we've been able to formulate somewhat of a curriculum, and it's not fixed from city to city, um, but, but generally speaking, it's pretty consistent during this period what they copied and in what order. And uh, so s stay tuned. Um, it, pretty soon I'm going to put together a video where we talk about, in a little more detail, scribal education and, uh, and how it was pieced together in this period. Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, Wyoming. Great job.